but like fully where you can level five is basically you don't need a person in the car. Right, that's level five. Level five yeah, is yeah, you don't need a driver. Level right. five is like you know the goal, especially on the uh, the bus- car picks you the, up, takes you off. Yeah, on the business side of like, are we gonna have semi trucks with no drivers? Right, that no, we're still at least five years away. It, it it's it's a much harder. But do you think is that because of the technology or is because it because of, of legislation? I'm not talking about legislation. Legislation, I have no control over. Elon has no control. I'm talking technology. Five years probably. Yeah. Well, that's not that much. No, it's not that much. I just think people, uh, the, the driving problem was harder than people thought in 2015, five years ago, when they said basically, oh, by 20, because in 2015, I think most people thought by 2020, we would have it. Um, it's just harder than people thought. Mm-hmm. There's too many edge cases, too many. Um, driving is harder than people think. I think we take for granted how hard driving is because... There's, there's a lot of human um, intuition that we have that we don't realize how hard it is when you're trying to program a computer to have that intuition. Computers don't have intuition. No, but I... I they don't have instinct. I, no, I know. But, but obviously, at some point, there's going to have to be... There's going to be a situation where you have autonomous cars, level four, level five, and human-driven cars. And I think that is the problem. If you have a, a, a situation or a city in where you see only autonomous cars. Sure, but that's never going to happen. Well, so the it goal could. is... It could. You could be, I mean, there's, uh, you could have places where you say, okay, only autonomous vehicles are allowed this or are allowed this section. But that whatever. is going to take... Basically, first of all, you'd have to spend a ridiculous amount on infrastructure to make that happen. Okay, to have separate freeways for autonomous vehicles. Or, I mean, what are you talking about? What about separate lanes in the free worlds like we do now with HMB Yeah, but that's going to kill traffic, first of all. If you're going to have two lanes that are dedicated to autonomous vehicles. Well, you have one for, you have now lanes that are just for HMB for pe- vehicles with yeah, multiple but, passengers. No, you don't need that. Just make the cars drivable with people. That's the goal, and we can do that. Yeah, but Trust I me. think that's, that's you know what how I'm long saying. It takes that you're talking about how difficult it is to drive a car. The difficulty of driving a car is the human reaction to other humans reactions like if i'm on the freeway no it's not I'm just constantly that. trying to predict where all these cars around yeah. me are going to do or not do or not uh, um signal or this or that or their reactions yeah and it's phone, not just whatever. that though it's there could be construction there could be cones there could be yeah. sometimes like i'll give you an example the reason why waymo has completely failed is because of the way they went about it right they went about it very procedurally as far as uh, rules-based learning, basically saying, stay in the lane, make sure you do this, right? All, like rules-based instead of, that's not how humans learn. Humans are not rules-based. Humans are experience-based. You drive and you learn and then you get better, right? And that's, they were trying to make it so that um, basically they were learning by specific rules. But here's an example, right? So this happens in Europe all the time. In Europe, people park on the side of the roads constantly, right? And a lot of times there's not enough space. So you gotta kind of cross over the, the lane marker a little bit so that you don't smack these cars uh, and that's okay. And you're like, all right, fine. And then you go back. The Waymo car would not do that. It would just stop. It would say, there's a car here, but I can't go over the lane. Right. I'm no, just gonna get stopped. That. And then you get rear-ended, right? So that was the problem. What Tesla and other some other startups like uh, Calm AI done, they basically train based on humans. So Tesla cars have cameras in them. Right, okay? there is a light versus have the camera. Millions and millions of miles of humans driving, right. and they train the machine to learn based off of the human driving. And well, that's why Tesla's going to win. I understand, and they both have pros and cons. Obviously, the cameras have some challenges on the LiDAR system. That yeah, the LiDAR is never going to happen. Yeah, I think, well, I mean, it could be an add-on to the camera. I mean, I think if you have a camera system with some LiDAR features, it may No, help you don't need it. In some cases. No, but either, either way, plus mapping is all you either need. Either way, I don't want to make do you this. Have, do you have LiDAR on your head when you're driving? Do you, do you have LiDAR? Well, uh, as far as, in a way, I mean, as far as you, you're estimating distances Yeah, for you can do breaking, that with a camera. Uh, yes, you can do it with the camera, but you know, you you uh, mentally have a lighter when you're driving, where you estimate the, the speed of the guy ahead of you. You have to brake hard if you're gonna have enough space. You know, the typical three second rule and all that stuff. So you don't have lighter, but you have a camera. Well, you have you two have, cameras. You have both. 
you basically yes. No, you don't. Okay. Uh, either way, I don't want to make this a discussion on that. What I'm what I'm discussing is or or trying to clarify is is there ever going to be a way or a situation where we have human driven cars and autonomous cars? Yeah, that's the goal. Because are they going to be sharing the same road and yeah. all that stuff? Because all the stuff that you were saying, yeah, yes. still still makes. Uh, I mean, I've been in situations you where you know what would take a lot longer than five years to do redoing the entire global road infrastructure. That would well, take a lot course. longer uh, that's and of, a lot more uh, that's money. Part of the issue. So we're just going to make the cars drive with people, and that's the answer. If you, if I, if if we said, okay, we're, to make self-driving cars work, we have to redo the in, United States' entire roads infrastructure. That's crazy. We're not doing that. That would cost way more money. No, I know. And take decades. No, just make them drive with people. That's the answer. So right now, locally in the Interstate I-10, that is the major one going through Phoenix, east west, and traffic is a mess, rush hour, whatever, like every other major highway. Um, you know, people have uh, cars, and they you you know when you travel, you can put cruise control and the speed is controlled. You can have semi-autonomous vehicles, and they drive and other stuff. But you see a situation where in five years you basically are behind the wheel. But you program your car and it takes you to work, and you are surrounded by cars that are, you know, like human driven, not autonomous, and then everything is fine. Because, I mean, yeah. the, the problem that I see is that what I said before that if I'm driving, uh, if I'm inside a car, a Tesla, fully autonomous, let's say level four, um, and then I have all these other cars around me, when cars are cutting me off, or doing any kind of uh, uh, abrupt maneuver, um, the Tesla is always going to back off because yeah, I mean the uh, Tesla is going to know the uh, yeah. Tesla, about the Tesla and other and and uh, and other systems are going to be designed based off of human driving. That's how they learn. Yes, but they're, they not, gonna learn, learn, they're not going to learn the aggressive driving. You know it very well. You get yeah, in the lane, learn. and you want to exit, and you're trying to get to the exit ramp, and the other guy's there, and he's not moving, and you accelerate, and he accelerates, and you break. And, I mean, it's just a lot of situations where sure, humans are kind of uh, That's why it's going to take five years. That's why it's not here now. And then, it's harder than people thought. But give it another five years of... Massive data sets being trained, and so the Tesla is going to become one of our, um, uh, you know, uh, aggressive driver vehicle. No, it's, it's going to learn aggressive <laughs> driver. It's going to be a normal driver. Okay, I, I kind of that's my question. If you I, just said you think it's going to be here in a year, I'm saying no, it's going to take another five. Well, yeah, yeah, it, it might take here. five, it might take ten, but I just don't know how a. Uh, uh, a vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So, so somebody cuts a Tesla off, and the Tesla has to brake a little bit. People cut me off, and I have to brake. What's the difference? Happens to normal drivers too, right? No, no. one has ever cut you off, and you had to kind of brake a little bit. No, I understand. Sure. But, but you know, it happens. Uh, just to give you, I mean, another example: if if somebody's jaywalking and crossing the street in the middle of, uh, you know, between yeah. traffic lights, car will see them. The the car, I mean. If you cross the street, you're looking, you're hoping that the car, the, whichever is coming, is, is seeing you. But if they don't see you, oh, I mean, you it, get run over. I think the, the Tesla will basically always stop. For that, I mean, the Tesla is way better because the Tesla is always going to see you. Well, Tesla's exactly. never distracted. Exactly. Okay, if you're not paying attention, you'll hit the kid. Okay, but right? that's my, my that's my devil's advocate thing. Okay, if I see a, a swarm of cars that are coming that are all basically autonomous in the future, let's say eighty percent of the cars are autonomous or self-driving or whatever and i'm going in the major artery of the of town with you know traffic and other stuff i can jaywalk and those cars will always stop in the middle of nowhere whereas if it's human driven and i say yeah i mean you can jaywalk with normal people and they're probably going to slam on the brakes and honk at you but you can do it Uh, now just if you're hoping that they see you just because just because a car doesn't obey the laws of just because a car's autonomous doesn't mean obeys the law doesn't obey the laws of physics okay if you just step in front of a fucking tesla it still needs time to brake and time to slow down okay it's no different than any other car so no, I'm not saying stepping in front, but I mean you see a car coming and you know that. You, I mean you're talking nor- about people being assholes. Okay, fine. But, right. I mean they are. But people. but but that's I, I not the majority I, of the time. Well, I understand. Okay? That's what I'm saying. That we're not ready for that. People just yet. jaywalk all the time now, knowing that someone might not see them. I mean, uh, okay, you have to deal with that. The goal of the Tesla is to be as good as people 
and hopefully maybe a little better. Because once it's as good as people, then you don't need people driving the car. If it's as good as a person, but it never gets distracted, it's already better than people. No, I agree. I agree with the way the technology and everything. I just say that when you mix, it's like mixing two different tribes, so to speak. Okay, one tribe by itself gets along great. The other tribe gets along great. But when you mix them together, they just have they have friction, you know. So when you're mixing the no. the autonomous tribe with the human driven tribe, and forget no, about the, bad, the people well, walking. The, the, listen, 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 listen. They are based off of human driving. They I, drive I, like humans. They're trained by humans. They they look at millions of miles of humans driving, and they learn to drive like humans. They don't drive like robots. That's the point. You're thinking of Waymo cars. Waymo cars drive like robots, and that's why they'll never work. Tesla, in theory, will drive like humans. They already do. I mean, they already have certain levels okay, of it, so right? Okay, so when humans, which humans? Because a lot of humans, when they get on the freeway, they're pretty reckless driving. No, not reckless, Okay, obviously. well, that's, that's my only point, you know? Okay. I mean... Let's move on. No, but I understand. But Five you, years. You even, come, I said. you even come sometimes and say... Holy shit, I was coming here and this guy, I hate this entry because this guy was just going to pull over, no signal, yeah, whatever. no shit. I mean, obviously, you always have okay. asshole drivers or people who don't know. Right. I'm talking I'm about, just, I'm just they're you trained know. off of... Okay. In every normal commute to work, to or from work, usually people have one or two instances where they feel like an overcar did something that was unexpected, you know, and they had to back off just to avoid the accident. Of course. Whereas... If I look behind and I want to get to the right and I have a Tesla or whatever, I'm going to say, you know what? That guy is going to back off because the system is going to say, okay, this guy is not seeing me or whatever. People is the, do that now. Yeah, I know. People do that now without autonomy. They do that now, but they kind of, uh, you have a little bit of a give and take and all the stuff to see who's going to I give or whatever. I think you're overestimating these things. I'm just giving you realistic situations. You know? Your answer, your, your <clears throat> thing always against it self-driving cars is oh people are going to take advantage i don't think so i think people for the most part are going to drive normal and you're going to have edge cases and that's fine i just you think about the cars I'm, I'm if, if your biggest concern is oh my god someone's going to cut it off and it's going to have to slow down a bit that already happens now how many times do you get cut off i get cut off all the time i never get cut off people i'm get, always ahead okay people get cut <laughs> off all the time it happens i mean that's driving that's why you can't have a rules-based system okay you need to they're trained well, off not, of people i'm not i'm not discussing or opposing what you say i'm just saying that yeah, i that's see what i'm saying I it's, it's going to take another five years it's going to be very challenging i'm not saying it's going to be here tomorrow then, that's why when elon says oh it'll be here in 2021 he's kind of full of shit i mean right. it'll drive on highways but no it's not going to take you well, like that's, that's exactly you don't need like, a person i'm talking you don't need a person in the car yeah it's going to take another five years okay that is exactly my point where elon said he says he's ready by 2021 I don't yeah think he's full of shit why not I mean, ready by 2021 no i don't know okay. why he says this i don't things. even know we're going to be ready in five years because again uh, if you say we're going to have like this hov lane for no you don't need that. cars you don't need perfect that. i'll go that all the time and I love that stuff. I would love to go if somewhere you, and say, hey, Tesla, pick me up. If you just had a separate lane, we could have self-driving cars today. That's right. easy. Exactly. But but that's <clears> not <throat> realistic. Right. Like I said, it's we're not, not going to rebuild the entire infrastructure right. for self-driving cars. And this is not even getting into insurance issues and all that stuff, but we'll, we'll leave it there. 